Hi guys, my name is Kitty McMillan and I am one of Matthew Place's new bloggers. Um, so it is June, which means it's Pride Month, and I'm just going to explain to you guys a little bit more about who I am. So there's a video of me on here already, which is my coming out story. If you guys haven't seen it, hopefully you will after this video. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I'm just going to explain a little bit more in detail about who I am. Well, in less detail. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Um, so, like I just said, my name is Kadeem. I live in Pennsylvania right now. Um, I'm 19, and I just finished my freshman year in college and started my sophomore year in the fall. I major in theater, and I'm mostly into musical theater because I love to sing. Singing is my favorite thing in the world, and I do it often, as my family would tell you. Um, but anyways, I also love, um, fashion and animals. I really wanted to be a vet when I was younger, but obviously that's not what it is anymore. <laughs> I'm more into, you know, perfecting my voice and making it as great as I can. Because being a singer would just be the greatest thing in the world, because sharing my voice for the people who, you know, can't or don't know how to express how they feel would be awesome and a great ex feeling for me so you know doing that would be great um what else um my life you know my life you know it's not the worst not the best you know some things could be you know different why do i keep saying you know you know you know you know uh some things could be different and you know i would like to I keep saying you know. I would like to change some things about how my life is going, but I wouldn't, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really nervous. I don't know what to say, and I don't want, you know, I don't know what I, what I want to say. I, I'm just really nervous, and I don't know why. This isn't even my coming out story where I was more confident because I wanted to get a message across. But now that I'm just, you know, normally talking, I'm, like, speechless. Whew. Anyways. <laughs> um, I, there, was a, there would be some things in my life that I would want to change, but you can't have everything you want. And I'm not trying to be, say, like, I, I want and... and, and, and I don't try. I try my hardest to just be myself and be as kind and generous as I can and be grateful for the life that I'm living now. You know, we all, we all go through hardships in life and if I could help anyone, you know, deal with their pain, it'd be a, a really amazing feeling since I really didn't have anyone to help me deal with mine and just being an advocate for people and being the voice for others who don't have a voice themselves would just make me, you know, proud to be gay, which would be my next point. I am gay. <laughs> um, and like I said in my coming out story, I've known for a long time and, you know, I'm still learning to get used to being myself and getting, you know, being more comfortable with who I am and accepting myself for who I am. Um, it's getting easier now that, you know, I'm more confident in myself. There are still some things about me that I know are really huge problems that, you know, cause stress and, and, and a lot of other things, but I'm still happy with my life and that's all you need. Um, dating. Mm. For me... Dating is like impossible. Well, I don't want to say impossible because it's not impossible. It just hasn't happened yet. Um, I have never had a boyfriend. If that's hard to believe, I don't know what to say because it's the truth. I really have never been in a relationship ever. Yeah, I know. Sad life. Um, no, it's, it's sad and, you know, you always want to share your love with another person and, you know, you always get the feeling that, you know, you never get it, you'll never be able to 
share who you are with another person to express your love and to make another person feel loved in return, you know? And you always want to find the one and be have all the romance that other people have and all that good stuff. But, you know, if you really want that stuff, sorry, this is my paper where I have all the stuff in that I want to say, but there's really nothing on here. I really didn't write that much. <laughs> like I said, I was nervous and I didn't know what to say. Anyways, dating. Yeah, uh, you know, it really hurts me sometimes to think about that, but on the bright side, you know, I see a lot of see how relationships work with my friends and stuff like that and in my family and I've learned a lot and what not to do and what to do and stuff like that I think I'm not saying that if I get a relationship I'll be perfect because you know no one is ever perfect in a relationship but I know that I'll just try my best to always be me and be faithful and you know treat whoever I'm with with the same respect that I would want to be treated with and you know, just love. That's the only thing I can really say for that. Just love. And hopefully be loved in return. Because that's all anyone wants, I guess. It's what I want. And, yeah. Continuing. Um... Where else to go with this? I feel like I just was really depressing in that last part. And please forgive me if it was or whatever. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to be sad or, or anything. It's just, you know, a part of my life that, you know, I've dealt with, you know, being alone. <laughs> Anyways, uh... So yeah, for me, life is continuing and it's getting really, it's getting really good. And please ignore the dog. Um, why do people always have to freaking ruin my videos? I, I don't know why this always happens. So I'm just going to stop it here. Um, if any of you ever need anything, um, please feel free to talk to me. I am always willing to help anybody. And if you just want to chat, I'm free. Bye.